Hey guys, welcome back to another PVC pipe related video. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is pressure testing or burst testing the most common sizes of Schedule 40 PVC pipe. We're going to be pressure testing the half inch PVC pipe, three quarter inch pipe, as well as the one inch pipe. All of these I purchased brand new the other day at my local home improvement store. They were 10 foot lengths. I cut them down to two feet each. And you can see by looking at the date, they're fairly new. That's January 16th of 20. This one here is April 1st of 20 and April 10th of 20. So this is not an old pipe. It's not going to be brittle. It was never in the sun and stored under the right conditions for that short period of time since they were made. In order to pressure test these, I'm going to glue one cap on each end and the other end is going to have a female slip or solvent weld connection. The other end is going to be a female pipe thread half inch. So that'll go on the opposite end. And by doing that, I'll be able to fill this pipe with water and then use this 10,000 PSI hydraulic hand pump that I outfitted with this special liquid filled gauge that goes up to 5,000. There was no need to get a 10,000 PSI gauge. We'll never exceed 5,000 testing these pipes. Over here on this end, you can see we have a half inch male adapter. And once this is filled with water to the very top, I'm going to thread that in. And the liquid inside this line, which is oil, is going to pressurize the water inside the pipe. I'm going to place a camera on that gauge as well as the pipe as I'm building pressure with the hydraulic pump. We're going to see at what point each one of these pipes bursts. We're going to see where, if it's going to be on one of the caps or at the other end for the female adapter, or maybe the pipe will rupture somewhere along the length. We're going to find out. During that pressure test, each one of these pipes is going to be submerged underwater. The PVC caps, as well as the female adapters with the coupling and the bushing, were all purchased at the exact same home improvement store where all of these pipes were purchased. The smaller the pipe, the higher the burst pressure is going to be, and the larger the pipe, the lower the burst pressure is going to be. Let's take a closer look at the OD Handy Pack. Now for this test, I want to ensure that the bond between the PVC fittings and the PVC pipe is as strong as possible. So I want to follow the directions on the side of this box. So let's take a look. Now if you look right over here, you're going to see how to solvent weld. You're going to square off the end of the pipe, and then you're going to chamfer the ends of the pipe, which is placing a bevel on the pipe. Once that's done, I'm going to apply a layer of purple primer to the fitting and the pipe and then I'm going to immediately apply the PVC cement the exact same way. When I slide the fitting onto the pipe with the PVC cement, I'm going to use a quarter turn twisting motion as I'm sliding the cap or female adapter onto the pipe. Right here is the half inch pipe and you can see there's a bevel that's been placed on the end. Very simple after you cut it, you can hold some sandpaper and just put a bevel on it that way. I like to hold the PVC pipe in my hand at a 45 degree angle to concrete and just roll the pipe in my hand against the concrete to put that bevel. It's going to help the fitting slide onto the pipe easier and ensure better distribution of the PVC cement. Take some of that cleaner and this is messy stuff so let's put a little bit on the cap. Good. And some on the pipe. Work it in a little bit. And now I'm going to take the PVC cement you want to put more on, well, less on here, and you want to put much more on the pipe. See, so there's a good layer there. Now I'm going to slide that on and twist. And now I'm going to hold it for about 30 seconds to let it set, because if you let go too soon, you're going to see this fitting try and slide off, and that's because inside this cap, it is slightly tapered and that taper is going to want to push the fitting off. So just hold it for about 30 seconds. And right here you can see that not too much glue was applied to make a big mess and have it run all over the place. Let's take the purple primer, put it on the female slip of the male adapter, and apply to this side. Now let's take a good amount of this and just put a little bit in here and you're gonna push it on and twist. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds as well. 
Okay, all three are now glued. I'm going to wait a minimum of four hours to ensure that the PVC cement is fully cured. Keep in mind, if you do not have any purple primer or PVC cleaner on hand, you can also use acetone. Three PVC pipes are now fully cured. I was going to only wait four hours. I had some bad weather, so I waited till the next day. So this is definitely fully cured on both ends for all three pipes. The next step, I'm going to pour water in here while the pipe is vertical, of course. And then I'm going to leave about 3 eighths of an inch of air space. And I'm going to thread on the fitting from the hydraulic hand pump, ensuring that it's filled with oil. I'm going to shove this in the end of the hydraulic hand pump fitting. So when I turn it downward to thread it in, the oil does not run out. I want to make sure there's very little air in here because air you can compress and I'll end up having to use more liquid. So let me get this all connected together and I'll come right back. Perfect. Right here's a look at that fitting, all hydraulic steel fittings I put together with the 5000 PSI gauge. The oil is right to this point here. I'm going to put this plug in the end, invert it and thread it into that pipe. We're now ready to test the one inch pipe. This will be the exact same setup for the three quarter inch and half inch PVC pipe. I'll be standing right behind the corner of this wall and as I'm pumping you're just going to keep an eye on the pressure. Oh, an 1150 PSI. That was totally unexpected. I would have never guessed that this would have come undone from the fitting. Let's take a look here. Yep, it completely separated on the inside. We're now set up for the three quarter inch PVC pipe. You saw the pressure from the one inch pipe. So keep an eye on this. And I'm hoping to see it actually rupture somewhere rather than one of the fittings pull apart. So let's try it again. Keep an eye right here. fifteen hundred psi and the same thing happened but on the opposite end the pipe did not want to give but the PVC cement even after 24 hours could not hold up to that high pressure so let's take a look now at the half inch pipe to see how that one acts under pressure so the one inch and three quarter inch PVC pipes they held up the problem was the cemented fittings now keep in mind your city water supply is between 60 and 85 psi and we were way, way above. So the cement will hold up just fine under normal circumstances, but under this pressure, it appears it cannot hold up. The shape of this pipe starts to distort under that much pressure, and it probably spreads this apart, causing the glue to slowly start to peel between this fitting and this fitting, allowing this to pop off. Because you can see how clean that separated, and that's after 24 hours. So let's repeat the test with the half inch pipe and see if the exact same thing happens. If it does, then the weakest point is going to be the glue and not the pipe. Okay, keep an eye right over here. And even the half inch pipe failed. This one made it up to around 1650 PSI. You can see it's clean. It actually 
broke clean. Incredible. And that's just an indication that the pipe is going to be able to tolerate extremely high pressure. The weakest link is going to be the fittings where they're cemented together. Guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to share it. I did spend a lot of money buying a hydraulic hand pump, the high pressure gauge, and all the fittings, as well as the pipe and cement. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you shared the link to this video on social networking sites. I have a few more of these videos coming up, so be sure to tune in. Thank you very much for watching.